take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. Basically, heat can cause the BPA and phthalate in plastics to leach into your food. That means, yeah, sorry, you should avoid microwaving food and beverages in plastic. Instead, transfer them into microwave-safe glass or ceramic containers. Make your mark, take our lead. All Ziploc brand containers and microwavable Ziploc brand bags meet the safety requirements of the U.S. Food and Drug Administration FDA, for temperatures associated with defrosting and reheating food in microwave ovens, as well as room, refrigerator and freezer temperatures. Let's help you make your mark. Such containers are typically tested for up to 240 hours in the microwave. Therefore, if you were to buy a reusable, microwave-safe plastic container and use it to microwave your food, you should feel quite confident about using it, as long as you follow the instructions, the 11th of November 2013. Take our lead. Probably for the general adult, but avoid doing so if possible. It's always better to reduce exposure if you can. Microwaving BPA containing plastics resulted in release of some BPA, though not exceeding the established safe level. Some BPA free plastics do release chemicals with estrogen activity after microwaving. 5 May 2016. Take our lead. Generally, yes, Rubbermaid is safe for microwave use. If it's safe, it'll display reheat or microwave safe. If not, you should not microwave it. Sometimes, the containers have a microwave image on the bottom to confirm that it's safe for use. 28 September 2020. Let's help you make your mark. Rubbermaid is manufactured from various glass or plastics. Generally, yes, Rubbermaid is safe for microwave use. Always make sure that you look at the bottom of the dish to ensure it is safe for microwave use. If it's safe, it'll display reheat or microwave safe, the 28th of September 2020. Make your mark, take our lead. Back on the other side of the wrap, the American Plastics Council cites a former FDA supervisory chemist, Dr. Charles Breeder, if you were to accidentally eat food containing melted plastic, you wouldn't suffer any harmful effects to your health, but your food probably wouldn't taste too appetizing, the 7th of January 2002. Thank you for watching, please subscribe and hit the bell notification.